Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. Today I'm going to be tying up a wee size 15 mini Mirage Sunray. So it was a fly that somebody requested there because I got a wee grill on it there about a month ago. And I just said I can do a wee video, so no problem at all. And if anybody's had similar experiences with these wee mini Sunrays, let us know because I've had some limited success, but it'd be good to hear what others are doing. So drop it in the comments there if. if you have a bit of luck yourself from these. I know if you have them tied up on mini tubes as well, a bit of success. So what I've done is, as I went down, I secured my what's going to be my body, which is um, UTC Mirage. It's a medium. Um, I've got black thread underneath, which gives it a lovely colour. So I wouldn't be tying it. I could tie it on the head and then just wrap it down and up again. But the Mirage under under black thread gives it a lovely a flashy green metallic colour. So as I go up, get my thread back up the head, I'm putting on some super glue which will help secure that mirage down. Make it a long term it'll make it a more secure fly. It also makes it tan it in easier because it slips if it slips as I'm bringing up I just start again. Okay, so just bring the mirage up over the thread. Okay, and then secure a couple of turns at the top. So for the wing, what we have, um, normally with Sunday the first start of the ring would be bucktail because this is very small, I have loads of movement. We're putting on um, black square, black, grey square dyed black, which is a bit stiffer. Than some of the softer hairs, but also a bit more mobile than the likes of the bucktail. So it'll give us a bit of support as an underline. So just remove the under fur. And just if you want to just go a wee bit beyond the back of the hook, really, because it'll stop the softer hair um, wrapping around those hook points, and then just pinch. Pinch and loop a few turns in, and then after you do a few, if you want, you can put in a few turns of thread of super glue because anybody ties with square will know it isn't the best for tying in, and it does slip a little bit. Okay. Too much super glue there, but we'll work it out. Okay, so we'll take off the access here. And then on top of the square, we're going to use Arctic Runner. So again, it's black and it's going to be a bit thinner than the previous layer. And we want to remove the under fur. And these big guard hairs, but we're I'm going to take these off, most of them anyway, and use them for later. And then I'm going to just try and tease out a little bit of this hair, just to make it a wee bit more tapered. Okay. Then you want this to lamp, if you want it two or three times the lamp of the hook, it's up entirely up to yourself. Some people would do more, but whatever works for yourself, really. Make it a bit lighter, even again. Okay. You probably notice my video sometimes I wet the hair just to get an idea of how it'll look. Okay. Then to cut off the excess. Then the last thing for the main wing is the guard hairs. So I want these guard hairs to extend a little bit further than the top wing there, similar to the way you would have a goat with a, a regular sundry. Just a handful of hairs and that will bounce hopefully in any flow as you retrieve. So 
couple of bits of like shares Angelina Faber, which is basically it's the exact same as like bread, but without the price tag. Okay, so I'm just putting a few wraps on that to secure it. I'm gonna cut all this off at once. And then the, the flags, I'm just gonna make that similar lamp to the main top wing. Okay, so I'm gonna just do one wee bit of super glue thread on top of that to make it very secure. And then I'm going to turn it upside down and we're going to do a beard hackle. Totally optional. So I'm going to put in Arctic Runner again. So again, cut off a small piece, remove the underfur, and this time you want to remove the guard hairs as well. So it's only using a small bit. And the lamp for this arc between the lamp of the down to the, to the rear of the hooks or even less if you prefer. Pinch and loop if you can as you go round. Fiddly cross and hands over for such a small fly. There's a wee bit of super glue still in there, so that's going to help secure that. Okay. here okay and that's your fly done but I'm gonna put in a few jungle cock eyes as well totally optional so just one on each side and the reason I'm doing this is that's the fly that hit that fish recently but if I was to tie it again myself I probably wouldn't even bother Okay, so a few wraps just to secure in, then we can have a look to see how they're sitting. Looks okay on this side. And that looks okay on that side now. Okay. And again, more super glue for the jungle cock. Just nearly there then, folks. Just cut off the waistbands. Okay. Let's see, there's a bit of a bump at the bottom of the head there, so I'm going to try and light the head. Make a bit neater. Okay. And yeah, uh, all we need is a bit of well, all we need is to do but finish this off. And that's our flag complete. That's it folks. So that's your size fifteen. Your size fifteen Mako or Mini Mirage Sunray. If you like that, folks, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, give a thumbs up. As I said, if there's anything, any success you've had with similar, give us a wee shout and send us a wee comment. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Till next time, tight lines, folks.